Oh, yeah. All right, guys, what's up? This is going to be probably one of those Stage of Media shorts. Um, it's going to be a short, relatively short video on... Uh, because if you guys know from my video that if it's in sequence, you're going to know that I'm actually putting together the valve covers and everything like that. I'm basically replacing everything. This is after, probably before or after that video, because this is going to be relatively short. I don't want to do too much talking. Um, but what we're doing today for this relatively short video is I'm going to be cleaning off the, uh, the lower and upper plenum. So that's the upper right there the lower here as you can see it's it's just full of oil deposits it's just full of oil deposits that you can see um just over time the oil just kind of sits you know in the ports and just kind of just develop just a nastiness um and then over time because the plenum is receiving air constantly um if there's any obstruction it's gonna cause you know performance and you know, all that good stuff, you guys know. Um, so I've already sprayed some of my um, degreaser solution in that. Let me actually flip the camera around so you guys could possibly, pop, you know, these, properly like, see. These Brillo pad, you know, type of, uh, nothing too abrasive, cause you don't want to like scratch or whatever. You don't want to scratch or whatever. So what you really want to end up doing is just basically, uh, you know, making sure the solutions on there as you can see i already took off the um the throttle um line. but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and, and clean this as, i'm gonna do a little before and after this is what i got now super nasty super caked on so i'm gonna probably take a nice little picture of this and then we'll go ahead and do a a full clean uh brush down with the with the brillo pad um again something that's not so abrasive on the surface uh you don't want to like scratch the actual plenum you just want to you know agitate the the stuck on you know uh, uh grease and deposits like even right now with my finger i'm just i'm scratching this off so you don't have to have anything too too crazy all right and some people won't even do this some people will just leave it the way it is and just that's what it is but me and the way my ocd work i just can't find myself putting in all these new parts and stuff and then having this stay dirty the way it is. So let's go guys. So basically guys, like I say, I mean, I already put the, the grease on it, like I told you, and I showed y'all that just kind of leave it on there to sit. Try to stay away from, um, you know, if you're gonna be cleaning up the, the plenum, try to stay away from, you know, sanding this part right here, because if, it's, if you sand too much, you're gonna create pockets and that's going to be a problem right there just go over it real lightly nothing crazy this is where you really want to clean up the interior plenum right here i'm not going to go too crazy i just want to kind of get rid of a lot of those, those deposits this little interior right here really want to get to is this little interior part right here it's just filled with just carbon deposits so I'm gonna try to get in there as best I can but ideally you probably want to use something like a sea foam or something from what I understood that's what helps with that as well but we're gonna clean this as best we can we're gonna let it kind of sit dry it's starting to drizzle out here a little bit so I'm gonna get this as clean as I possibly can. This it. Probably put some more of the grease on there. And I'm gonna attack the other one. The next time you see me guys, I'm gonna be putting a side by side, letting you guys know from what it was to what it is now. So let's go. Alright guys, as you can see, looks like day and night. I'll probably flash a little screen, you know, a little screen grab right here of what it looked like before to what it is now. And all it is is just some purple power with the greaser and a little bit of elbow grease to it. And, you know, again, all you want these passageways through the plenum because it's it's taking in air and all this, all the different, you know, uh, uh, bypass breather that's coming in. So you want it to be as, as, as clear as possible. Because again, your intake is getting thrown into your throttle body. So all this, if it's, if it's resistance, 
you're just trying to clean up the resistance. That's all you're really trying to do. All the oil deposits and build up from the, the oil vapor just attaches itself to the plenum. And because it attaches itself to the plenum, when you have that air that comes through, there's, there's gonna be some resistance there because it's not a clean port. There's gonna be some hesitation. And again, it, 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 in the overall scheme of things, uh, you know, it's not gonna jump your horsepower, but it's just, it makes your car a lot more responsive when it's no resistance that's being given to the, uh, to the plenums, man. All right, so I'm gonna let these kind of sit overnight and that'll be it. I mean, probably in the morning, I'll check it out and see if it needs to be any more dried up because I want these to be as spick and span pot spotless or in, and without any water or anything um, on them as possible. So this is one of my little quick tips. If you guys get to do this, again, this is something that you may not even want to touch, but if you're changing out your valve covers like what I did in the previous video, you know, you may want to kind of look at your plenum and see, you know, how they look, the upper and the lower, you know what I mean? So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hope you guys learned something. Like, subscribe, all that good shit, uh, you know, and always be humble, be gracious, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Stay driven, guys. One.